Um, so, uh, due to our participation here at OpenGov and in the CNT's Urban Sustainability Apps competition last year, uh, we actually made an app for farmers markets, um, and this uh, has to do with the linkages that are coming around uh, with the Affordable Care Act, aka Obamacare, and there is all of a sudden um, a very, very huge interest from the health sector in farmers markets because there is all of a sudden this huge turnaround and push towards preventative health and preventative care. And um, farmers markets play a big part in that. So if you followed this at all or whatever over the last year, year and a half, all over the country, there have been all kinds of kind of like partnerships and connections. CDC here, Blue Cross here, everybody here, everybody here, right? So uh, farmers markets and health sector are going to be working together much more closely. We don't know what's going to happen with this app. Just to say it, uh, just to say it plainly now, it it it, it uh, has a certain programmatic implementation for us. But to a certain extent, we just wanted it to serve as a kind of like conversation starter with how these awesome food environments can like lead to awesome health outcomes. So uh, you can click the next one here. And we did use it on Saturday. We did use time. it for the first time on Saturday, so it's happening. Um, so we're looking at food insecurity already. Uh, we have uh, significant costs uh, related to diabetes, obesity, and other like lifestyle diseases in this area. Those costs are projected to get much worse. If you look at the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation uh, projections on diabetes costs of care in Illinois alone. Uh, you will be discouraged. <laughs> um, we have a lot of challenges when it comes to health and preventative care in this state and in this country. So uh, we can go to the next one. All right, cool. So it comes around to the time now where the doctor man is finally starting to get pissed off at the food man, and that's pretty cool. Um, agricultural policies versus health policies, they're just not jamming. And with, the, with uh, all the things coming around with the Affordable Care Act, uh, this stuff is just not going to make sense anymore. Um, of course, uh, next slide. Of course, um, it would have been Michael Pollan who would have called this four years ago uh, <laughs> in an article that is uncannily prescient uh, today. So I would recommend that. It's a really good read. Um, and I don't know if you guys want to take votes over whether you think the, the sugar man or the insurance man is going to win here. But um, I'll leave, I guess, the future will tell. All right, next up. Cool. So Illinois adopted the ACA Medicaid expansion. I don't know. Uh, some people were here for the LISC talk on outreach with that. So that was really, really cool. But in, in general, what we're seeing is we're seeing a huge overlap between Medicaid and LINC recipients. I think one of them is pegged at 133% of poverty line. The other one's at 138% of poverty line. So much so that some states are even starting to, starting to collapse their application uh, applications for food stamps as, as well as um, Medicaid. Um, uh, other, other, I mean, ACA has so many things going on with it, but other things, um, nonprofit hospital and health sector uh, providers uh, have to provide CHNAs, community health needs assessments, and demonstrate metrical impact of their charitable dollars on actual community health. Uh, next. Uh, we talked about the fruit and veggie prescription program uh, briefly. So we had a pilot program with the fruit and veggie prescription, but what we found is that it didn't really work, and the redemption rates were really low, mostly because it was kind of cumbersome. You have to scare somebody to go into a doctor's office or into a hospital. You have to hope that the doctor gives them that fruit and veggie prescription. The fruit and veggie prescription is only good for fresh fruits and vegetables, not like anything at the market, like our double value money is. Um, and then you have to kind of like get that person convinced to go back and visit that market, right? And we're like, why are we doing this in like two or three steps when we can maybe be doing it in one step? So the idea that we came up with a link up app is it's actually a health tent at the farmer's market. It's staffed by UFC Med. We demoed it last Saturday for the first time. Worked like a charm, apparently. So the idea is that um, for anybody who has a link card, they can come to the health tent. They can get some basic health metrics measured. It's an outreach moment uh, for the hospitals. And then we literally pay them with more money to spend at the farmer's market in exchange for taking, taking that moment to get, their, to get their health checked or whatever. Um, so we think that this could be uh, lower administrative costs. The fruit and veggie programs have pretty significant evaluative costs just because of all the kind of like paperwork shuffling this way, that way, and the other thing. So we think that with this technology, we can reduce administrative costs. And we can reduce stigma. We can reduce uh, time spent in uh, actual in hospitals and clinics, and that's very, very expensive time. Whereas if you're at a farmer's market and you just have like some volunteer nurses or something like that, it might be much more economical. And the other thing is that we're already having significant foot traffic of low income customers. And since we already have this foot traffic of low income customers on link card, now under the ACA, we can pretty much guarantee or, or assume that any person who's coming to us with a link card, the state also cares about their health outcomes. Um, next. So what the app does is it rewards link carders with more money to spend on food, records, anonymously records health data about link card holders at farmers markets, 
and blah, 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 raise the population help. Uh, next. Um, this is kind of just like a workflow diagram of how that might happen. Um, it's just a, kind of like a separate tent at the farmer's market. We also have another tent with the Southside Diabetes folks, and they're providing uh, shopping tours and stuff like that. All right, next. Uh, here's some screenshots of the app. We made it in Android. Um, Scott Beslow, who's often here, but I think he's out of town, he was the one who helped us out with the actual coding. And um, the um, we had a great team for CN. I don't know if any of the other team members are here, but we had a great team uh, for that found here at OpenGov. And the app's up and running. It's uh, it's Android now. Hopefully, we can make it cross cross platform. The other thing we're hoping is that we can start to integrate with more higher tech um, medical devices, so that, for instance, we could have we have these now on Nexus tabs. And if we can have some really really cool things just plugged in, like little armband stuff or whatever else that might be, that could even lower the amount of time that people have to spend in the health tent in order to get that extra money to spend at the farmers market. Um, cool. On the next. Uh, yeah, it's uh, uh, parses on the uh, back end there. X. One question on that. Yeah. So the money on the link up, is that coming from individual donors as well? Is that government funded? Uh, no, it's not government funded. It's yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's philanthropic and private donations, yeah. Um, partnering with USC Med, uh, we had positive feedback from link shoppers. Um, uh, more than three fourths of them said that they would be down to get their health uh, stats measured in exchange for more money to spend at the farmers market. So that was cool. We did a kind of like dry run uh, last weekend, and then May seventeenth, which is our first outdoor market day, is kind of going to be like the the kickoff party for that. So anyway, uh, Rumu, but I feel like we've talked a lot, so maybe just we can just stop and you guys.